Nick Perler here. Got some good advice for you. This is career changing and life changing. Literally life changing advice I got from a, a, uh, a Soviet coach who trained my brother and I for about a year until he had to move on. He was a, a defect from the Soviet Union, Marlon Kaikin. You can look him up, pretty famous. Um, trained Alexander Medved too when he was a, a young man apparently. <clears throat> Just crossed paths, got lucky. He loved my brother and I, and uh, trained us individually for about a year before moving to New York City. He said this, do one thing every day for your wrestling. That's it, just one thing. And what I found, my dad sort of, he could hardly speak English, <clears throat> but my dad took it a step further, and he was like, what that does is, it gets you in the habit of getting off the couch, and so, you know, Martin said, it doesn't have to be much. If you're doing sprints, maybe we played soccer back then as kids. He's like, do two extra sprints for wrestling. <clears throat> if you uh, go into the weight room, maybe it's for another sport, do some wrestling lifting. So something for wrestling has to be accomplished that day something for wrestling and my dad was like <clears throat> you know you guys need to get on the wrestling mat tw 20 minutes he's like why don't you guys make a commitment right now we're like 13 he's like why don't you dedicate 20 minutes a day for wrestling that's it 20 minutes he's like it can just be drilling it can be sprinting it can be going live it can be lifting weights just 20 minutes and that too was career changing because my dad was very smart and you know because it does two things. Number one, it, it, and Martin's advice, and what really changed for me is it, it, it creates a habit. And Martin said it doesn't have to be much. It can just be one extra sprint, two extra sprints. So we're thinking, right? We're developing our obsession and we're thinking about our career, our wrestling career, and how can I get better today? What can I do today to make a difference? What can I do today to, to get better at wrestling and win more matches? And so it keeps wrestling top of mind. It keeps goal chasing top of mind. It creates a career path top of mind. And the second thing it does is it gets you in the habit of pulling yourself off the couch. So if I said uh, five days a week, you gotta run seven miles, um, that's hard to get off the couch to do that. But if I just said, you have to run seven minutes on the treadmill, maybe you're a track uh, girl, seven minutes on the treadmill every day, that's gonna add up. So what if I said, you only have to drill 20 minutes a day. You have a home wrestling mat. You know, I know I knew some kids, they went on to be between three brothers, they were in the state finals 11 times. And their dad's like, you got a wrestling mat? All I care, I, I think it was like 25. They didn't have a lot of finishes and stuff back then. They were little kids. Their dad's like, you hit five, you hit 25 high crotches, 25 single legs, and 25 double legs every day after school. That is required of you. Okay, that's a chore. You're going to have to do that. After that, I don't care what you do. That makes a difference, right? <clears throat> what if you just say you only hit 10, right? Hit 10, you have your best five leg attacks, you hit 10 reps of each, that's 50. That's 350, that's 1,400, 1,400 a month, 14,000, 16,800. That's 17,000 leg attacks a year, right? <clears throat> Makes a difference, doesn't it? So it teaches you to pull yourself off of that couch that is a skill. Some of you don't even have that. You don't know how to get off the couch. You don't know how to, you, you, you're like, oh, I want to kick butt. So, I want to wrestle in college. So, I want to make a million dollars. So, I want to have a nice car. So, I want to have a six pack. So, I want to go to Harvard. So, I want to be, I want to have, have my state champion. So, I want to wrestle in the NCAA champion college. So, no one cares. It's, those are just like statements you make. Why don't you say, I want to wrestle in college and I want to win and be an All-American at least. The goal is to be an NCAA champ. And I'm going to do one thing every day for my wrestling, okay? And if it's only 20 minutes, or maybe one day you're like, There's, I can't put 20 minutes in. Just put five in. You, you, you've engaged 
and you've built the muscle of pulling yourself off the couch and doing something. It's called taking action, right? Take action, take massive action, right? And the third thing I learned from doing that is, you know, the motivation comes after the work. That's a big Tony Robbins frame phrase, it's true. So I noticed that after I put some work in, I felt good about it. And your confidence, it's like, you think you're gonna get confidence or self-esteem because someone's gonna sprinkle magic pixie dust over your head and self-esteem dust, confidence powder. No, develop your own confidence. Some of you guys don't have confidence. You don't deserve confidence. Why do you think you have to deserve to have confidence? Oh, you deserve self-esteem. No, you don't. You don't deserve an eight pack. You don't deserve money in a bank account. You don't deserve a nice car. You don't deserve a state title. You don't deserve anything. You'd have to earn it, right? Me too. But we think confidence is deserve is our deserve. Like it's I should have it, right? No, you should not have confidence until you earn it. I don't have confidence on a balance beam. My niece does because she's a level ten gymnast, state champion. So quit thinking that. Oh, I don't have confidence. What's wrong? Oh, maybe you don't deserve confidence. Maybe you've never done anything to deserve confidence. Maybe you're what's wrong. Maybe you need to get off and start doing something, right? And you say, oh, I know I want to. I just can't. Yeah, you can. Just do five push-ups. Do five push-ups a day. That's one thing for your wrestling. Start small. 12 seconds. Do 12 seconds a day for your wrestling. Then work your way up to 20, okay? But the motivation comes after the work. So after you work, you feel good about yourself. And when you feel good about yourself, your confidence and self-esteem grows. Then you stick your chest out. And then you're just like, I'm going to go take on the world, man. I'm going to take somebody on. I'm going to set some higher goals. I'm going to take some people out this weekend at this, tur at this tournament, right? So it's awesome. So it um, teaches you how to pull yourself off the couch. Uh, number one. Uh, number two, um, you know, it gives you a lot of confidence and, and helps grow your, um, your um, self-esteem. And the last thing. Another thing that it does is, um, it's the, the aggregation of marginal gains. <clears throat> it's just 20 minutes, does it add up? Yes, it does. You hit 10 reps of your five best leg attacks, you get 50 reps a day, it's 16,800 leg attacks. Four years in high school, that's 64, 65, like 67,400 leg attacks or something. How, how is that? Dude, it took you 20 minutes, right? You, you hit 68,000 leg attacks extra. You tell me that a college coach isn't gonna call you, I guarantee you they will, okay? So that's what I learned. It's been life-changing, career-changing, financially changing. It has changed everything. I'm so glad I bumped into that man. And I'm so glad that I impressed him. And he goes, I'm quitting this coaching stuff. This, I ain't dealing with these guys anymore. They don't wanna be here. I wanna deal with you and your brother. That's it. Okay, so I'm glad that I at least showed up and paid attention and impressed this guy. People say you can never make it to the top on your own, and that's true. But some people won't help you because you haven't earned their help. If you sit in the back of the classroom and act like a freaking clown, you know, right? And your and your teacher loses confidence in you, she's not gonna help you. Why should she? Oh, nobody ever helped me. You're a clown. Why would anybody help you? Why would you have confidence? You are a clown, right? So don't be a clown because the only reason that man saw something special in us, he's like, I want those guys, okay? And I'll tell you another thing. When I was made the cadet world team in, in, in like ninth or 10th, 10th grade, Bruce Burnett was our coach. He was a high school coach at the time, worked his way up to Oklahoma State. By the time he got to Oklahoma State, we were juniors, and he's like, we need those guys. I remember those guys. They run every race, they did extra, and me and my brother impressed Bruce Burnett when he was a high school coach. And now he happens to be the head assistant coach at Oklahoma State University, time to get recruited. He goes, I want those guys, I know those guys. They were on my team three years ago. Gotta have them. So that's how I made it out of Missouri to Oklahoma State, because I impressed someone three years earlier, because I did all the stuff. Uh, way better than everybody else. I didn't win the tournament, my brother did, but we run the sprints, we, we won everything. And we released leaders of the pack among a few guys, okay? So, um, you know, impress people. People aren't gonna help you if you're a clown. Just be a freaking savage human and uh, things will line up for you. Good luck, you should come here at PerlerWrestling.com. Everything you need's there. Now they're selling houses, moving here from all over the country to train with us.